We have a Jules and a Julie. We'll try not to get those confused. <laughs> this is like Groundhog Day. I know my word, but I'm just confirming it here. Okay, well, there you go. Wait, didn't yours change last year? Um, I don't know. I remember I didn't want it. Oh. <laughs> and it's the same thing That's this right. year. I don't want it. I don't want this one either, but okay, here we go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Melissa, I know you've done this before. Julie, have you ever done this before? Not like a working through a workbook to find it. No, that's why it interested me. So okay. cool. Cool, cool. So I will I will say that last year, so I've done this for a lot of years. And um last year really surprised me because I came in with one word and I left with a word that is completely like I would never have thought of that word on my own. Not ever. It yeah, came in with the word like it was like discipline or forward or you know something very aggressive, which are typically my words. And <laughs> left with, don't laugh, Julie. <laughs> <laughs> and left with the word flourish. Oh, cool. And um that word truly has been embodied this entire year. Oh, hello. That was very loud. Sorry. You just mentioned my word. Flourish? Aggressive. Aggressive. <laughs> discipline. Oh, discipline. Yeah. Sorry about that. It's okay. We'll see if it still sticks. Yeah. Um, I would just say I told that story because I want you guys to be open. You may come in with a word. Like I have a word in my head, but I don't know if that's the word that the Lord is going to have for me this year. So I really want to, you know, prayerfully work through this workbook. And um, so, yeah, if you don't mind, let me pray for us before we get started. So, Father, I just give you this time. I thank you for these women who signed up for the word of the year. Um workshop and Lord we just give this time to you we ask that you would speak to us that you would uh, lead us and guide us for what you have for us in 2024 and that we would lean in because um, following your lead is the best way and so we just give it all to you in Jesus name amen okay I promise that if I have to blow my nose I will mute <laughs> <laughs> um all right so if you all have your workbooks um, I'm going to go ahead and screen share just so um, everybody can see the workbook. <clears throat> you guys see that? So, um, so part one, and this I just added last year. So this is only the second year that we've done this part, but it's looking back. And I feel like if you can't look back if you're never celebrating the wins and acknowledging the losses you're missing something so for the next couple of minutes I want to just take a few minutes and reflect on the last year 2023 um, things you're proud of things that you feel like were a definite win things that you um, things that you would consider moving you forward things that you would consider um, I don't know, positives out of the year and just write those down. So we're just going to take the positive for the next couple of minutes. So I'll give you some time.
Okay, so now we're going to switch gears a little bit, still looking back, and think through what held you back, some things that maybe kept you from hitting some goals that you had for yourself for the year, um, things that you might need to stop doing that prevented you from moving forward or getting things done that you would have liked to have get, gotten done in 2023. Hey, Laura, we are on section one, part two. Awesome. Thanks. You're welcome. Moving to part two, we're going to start looking forward. So think about the person that you want to be at the end of this coming year. Take a few minutes, write down some specific details about her. Health, personal development, spirituality, business, etc.
find that a lot of times this can help with goal setting for the next year. So the more specific you can be on some of this, uh, the better probably. Okay, now we're gonna look back at the words that we wrote on this page. And I want you to circle words that stand out to you, both positive and negative. <clears throat> Jan, are we supposed to look at from part one and part two or just part yeah. two? Both. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, do you detect any trends? <laughs> Look at those words. And then over the next two pages, there are just some ideas for words of the year. There are a lot of them. So what we're going to do now is just take a couple of minutes and I'm going to let you go through these and just circle any that stand out to you. Something that resonates in your spirit.
I would really encourage you guys not to just skim this, but to say each word so that you can see how it resonates with you. Jan, do you already have your word? Um, kind of, but I'm I'm open handed with it. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you. 
If you have a word that's not on this list that comes to mind, you can write it in too. Okay, now what you want to do is look at the words that you circled on the last two pages or any that you wrote in, and I want you to narrow the field down to nine. So go back through them, cross out ones that you think don't completely resonate. We need to top nine. Everybody got nine? Okay. <clears throat> so just want you to look at these nine and we're gonna narrow it down to your top three. And then in the box underneath it, you're gonna take each word of your top three and just write why you think that would be a big word for you in the coming year. How do you get it down to three, Jane? <laughs> I would say keep looking at them, keep thinking through them. And I honestly, Julie, I just ask the Holy Spirit to let the words pop out to me. Also, some of the words that you have down may be very similar, in which case you can 
pick the one that you think fits the best. Like I have bold and brave. Those are very similar words. And courage. So all of those kind of feel the same. Brave and courage for sure. Bold is a little different, <laughs> especially when you're an Enneagram 8. Bold is very different. Um, but words that can fit together, you can, you know, nix one of them. And then what? I would say something that you're going to focus on anyway, like health. Like I focus on that every year. So I don't know that that necessarily needs to be a word of the year for me. Does that make sense? So I can cut that yeah. one off. Yeah. What's interesting about my top three words is that if I have one of them, it's because I'm honoring the word of the year that I think it is. Like all three words um, are kind of related. Yeah. Um, which is interesting. So if I am being disciplined, then I'm also going to have more belief in myself and also be more consistent. Mm. Yeah. So, so far, I think it's that terrible D word. <laughs> no, it's good. I like it. I would also say the reverse of that, Jules, if you will have more belief in yourself, you're going to be more disciplined. Yeah. You know, and if I'm more consistent, that means that I have more belief in myself. Yeah. So I would use the why behind each one of those words as a way to kind of get some focus, Jules. Um, I mean, if you also look up the definition of discipline, um, it's also teaching, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Training. Yep. So Jan, I think this happened to me last year. It's Melissa. Um, if a word is just kind of screaming at you right now. Yeah. Is, is that your word? More than likely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like screaming. It's definitive. <laughs> yeah. Like I'm like my head is hurting because it's hitting me so hard. Oh, okay. Well, then I'd say you're done. Good. <laughs> the way that I have um, come up with, I mean, aside from doing this also, um, is I keep seeing the word over and over. Yeah. Like in stuff that I read and whatever. Yeah. So. What do they call that? The reticular activating system? Yeah. <laughs> and something that I can't explain is I was telling my friend the other day, in one day, I saw and heard the word purgatory Whoa. eight times. Yikes. And I'm like, I don't know what that means, but <laughs> I don't like that. It was, it was weird. Hopefully that's not your word of the year. <laughs> Uh, no, <laughs> but you know what? I mean, I take, I take that seriously when I see something or hear something. Yeah. So of course I looked it up and, um, you know, it can mean cleansing, purifying. I don't know. Um, but I was even like, I never watched TV yeah. and since I was house sitting, I'm like, all right, I'll just watch their Netflix. And it was just, I heard purgatory and then they said it again in a different context. And I was like, all right, what's going on here? Melissa, what, what is your word?
I was on mute the whole time. I'm surprised you didn't hear me. Uh-huh. Um, so <laughs> yeah, I'm talking away. I'm like, oh, they're not answering. They don't like it. <laughs> um, so it's um the one that is literally screaming at me is B. Mm. Uh-huh. Um so literally <laughs> probably the most simple word and literally two letters. So um but it it it's yelling at me. What was your word last year? Success. I love that. Okay. Moving on to number three. If you embodied the words on a daily basis, what would be different for you on a normal day? So again, you can stick with the three, but if one or two of those can be eliminated. This is, you know, the process of elimination. The goal is to get to one. But if you're still stuck with more than one, you can do all three again. Chan, can you say that one more time? My um, iPad just died, so I don't have the workbook sitting at, in front of me. Yeah. Um, so if you um, if you embodied this word or words, if you haven't narrowed it down, on a daily basis, what would be different for you in a normal day? Does everybody have just one word or are you still vacillating between a couple? I have one. Looks like Julie has one in the chat. I have one too. One. All righty then. Guess I'm the outlier. <laughs> Mine is totally weird for me. So I'm still like understanding it. <laughs> yeah, mine was last year, Julie. Mine was last year too. I fought it. Melissa, are you saying I have something echoing in the background? You did. It seems to have resolved itself. Oh, that's weird. I didn't change oh, anything. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, I hear it too. Is it the music that I have on? Mm -mm, it's like when you talk, there's like a. There's like a, okay, yeah, like a residual at the end that is very musical. Very musical. Yeah. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that is.
I think my word just changed, ladies. <laughs> okay, section four. Since I think most of us already have just one word. How do you already live or incarnate this word? And then how do you not live this word already? Okay, part five. If you lived out this word daily, what 10 things could or would you attract this year or what would be different this year? I don't necessarily like the phrase, what would you attract? I think it's very new agey, but <clears throat> what would be different this year? Then part four, what could derail you from this? So what are three specific triggers that might make you shrink or run in the opposite direction of your word? Example, if you chose success, one of your triggers might be fear of failure. When you look at some of the obstacles in front of you and doubt that you can overcome them. This keeps you stuck in one pattern over and over again. Being aware will help you recognize the <laughs> or it derails you.
with your done with your triggers, you can go on to part two. What obstacles have kept you from living this word up until now? <clears throat> And then number three, what are five new habits or practices that you could incorporate into your life to help you live out this word more fully? And I would even say they don't have to be new habits, but maybe even habits that you need to be more diligent in, more consistent in. All right, ladies, it's time to dream a little bit. <clears throat> what are five goals, big or small, that you'd like to accomplish this year based on the word you are choosing? And when you're done with that, section two, what would be a home run for you this coming year? This could be a big dream, an amount of money, a way you want to live each day. Write as detailed as you can. Don't stop to correct or perfect, just write.
All right. Last page. Choose your word. <clears throat> Share your word. Wherever you show up in the physical or digital space, share your word and why you chose it with others. People love reading things like this, and who knows, maybe you'll inspire them to decide on the word of their own this year. You can use the hashtag word of the year 2024 so we can all share. Write it everywhere. Vision board, daily affirmation cards, bathroom mirror, however it works for you. I, um, I choose to, like Jewel said, I always look up the definition of my word because typically there is something more in there than I even realize. <coughs> and then um, I also look up verses regarding that word. I just do a Google search for verses surrounding the word, whatever it is. And from that, I choose a verse of the year and I write that on my board in my office. Um, I guess I can stop screen sharing. Um, I write that on the board of my office and I try to say it out loud every day until I have it memorized. Um, and then something different that I did this year, um, my word for 2023 was flourish. And so I use the Bible app every morning. And so I looked up Bible plans, Bible reading plans with the word flourish. And I literally just worked my way all the way through all of those reading plans throughout the year. And it was, it was great. I just actually finished the last one a couple of weeks ago. So um, I think just any way that you can keep it on your heart and your mind is good. And I think you'll be surprised at the results that you have at the end of the year. Um, finding accountability, really good. If you have a friend who you'd like to share this with, uh, I'll send out the replay link uh, in the next couple of days and feel free to share that. You can share the link to the workbook and um, and then share your word. And then hopefully you can be accountable to each other on how it's going and the goals that you have. Um, does anybody, well, first of all, was anybody surprised? I was. Yes. Julie, <laughs> you want to share your word? My word is sparkle. Oh, okay. Which is like not a, you know me. So like, I'm not a blingy sparkle person, but um, I'm like crying when I, when I think about it. So you I, want, you want to cry when you think about it? Yeah. Like in a good way. Wow. That's amazing. Um, I feel like I kind of lost my sparkle this year. It was a hard year. Aww, and so yeah. it's like God wants to restore kind of that joy and appreciation of just like the beauty of life that's amazing what a great word and I I was like that's probably not in the bible but I looked it up and it is in Zechariah. Ah, there you go and it says the lord their god will save his people they will sparkle in his land like jewels on a crown oh my gosh isn't that cool that's amazing so that's why I'm crying but it's good so that's yes amazing. totally not what I expected that's awesome. Anybody else want to share your word? We already know Melissa's. Be. Jules, are yeah, you I, yours? Oh, go ahead, Jules. It's discipline. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, this is, this is the, like, last year, God chose rooted for me. And I was like, no, I don't want that. I want like something like love or joy yeah, or peace or, you know, and I just kept seeing the word over and over. And then after doing this workshop with Jan, we decided that, yep, that's the word. So yeah, it's discipline. And, you know, there's a lot of aspects to it and discipline in different areas. Um, just got to tighten everything up, you know? Yeah. That's good. Melissa, were you going to say something? Yeah, I, um, I didn't realize that this was going to be my word because I didn't honestly think that it was a word. Like, I, I don't know. It, it never hit me that it could be a word mm -hmm. until I went through 
the little list. And then I was like, oh my God, there it is. Um, so this was, this actually hit me a couple weeks ago. Um, mm -hmm. And it wasn't just the word. It was um, be who you want to become. Mm. And for whatever, it's such a simple thing because duh, well, of course, but um, it really hit me like I said, kind of in the head and that smack upside the head of why have I never thought that before? Yeah. Um, and when I pick the word, when I pick these words, when I do the sh workshop and pick these words, um, like you just went through the thing of, you know, what are, are three things that might block you or whatever. I, what I did thought was very comical is the other, actually I picked 11 words, but um, the other words that I had picked are six of them are what are, have been stopping me. Well, so, <laughs> it not, not releasing my past, not being consistent, not having faith in myself, um, you know, things like that. And I was like, Oh, this is why this is really cool. <laughs> yeah. That is really cool. So, yeah. So thank you as always, Jan. Oh, that's really cool. Laura, how about you? You want to share? I do. Um, I, I actually want to go through this again, through the, through the worksheets, um, because I had chosen discipline as well as Jules. So that's a good one, except, I, you know, I, as I was writing my little notes, I was like, well, how can I be disciplined if I don't believe in myself? Mm -hmm. So I'm wondering if maybe that's a change. Yeah. Yeah. I would not be surprised at if, that was not the case. And it's always good to go back through for sure. I, those of you who know me well, you'll laugh at this. Uh, I came in here thinking that my word 2024 was roar. And um, I am leaving with the word expansion. So there you go. There's lots to unpack in that, but I'm excited. I love about that. It. Yeah, I'm excited about it. Lord is definitely doing some new things in me and in my business. And um, so expansion seems to fit. Oh, roaring is the expansion of the lungs. Oh, that's good. Yeah. That's real good. Yep. Okay, I'm going to write that down. Thank you, Laura. You're welcome. It just popped into my head. <laughs> Well, that was the Holy Spirit. Absolutely. Um, ladies, thank you so much for joining me today. I'm sorry I'm all stuffy and gross. Um, but this really is one of the highlights of my year every single year. I love leading you guys through this. And um, if, Laura, if your word changes, will you let me know? Um, yeah, absolutely. In fact, I just wanted to jump on and thank Jules for sharing this invitation. So it was, I really enjoyed this. Good. I'm so glad. So glad. And yes, I will definitely let you know. Great. Laura, what is your word now? I must have missed it. I don't know. I'm going to go back through the worksheet and do it again. Um, oh, gotcha. So, you know, ours was the same, I thought, because, you know, everything is going to stem from being disciplined, right? But how can you be disciplined if you don't trust and believe in yourself and have self-integrity? Yeah, I get that too. So it may change. <laughs> but but my belief in myself comes from being disciplined in what I need to do. And when I'm disciplined, it means that I'm trusting myself. Right. It all It all intertwines, you know? It sure does. For sure. Sounds like you've got a built-in accountability buddy there, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I am truly looking forward to how you guys embody these words over the next 12 months. And I hope you have an amazing New Year's Eve celebration tomorrow and an amazing 2024. Y'all have Thank a good day. Thank you so much, Jan. Thanks, Jan. Bye.